Hi everyone, it's Tannis with h and Sign Supply with my weekly live video. I do apologize I was not able to hop on yesterday. I did have something come up that I wasn't able to uh, get this video done. But I have it prepared and we are going to do that now. So I am super excited to show you this brand new product released by Aurifol this week. Um, it is what some have been waiting for for many, many years, including myself. It is a ultra metallic or glitter vinyl. I think it's really hard to see. I will be posting um, some pictures of the colors. They came out with um, 12 colors and I will show you some of them now. This is white. There is silver, black, which I think let me back up a minute. Um, this one is ghostly white. This is intense silver. This is obsidian silver, which is basically black, but it does have silver specks on it. And then we have golden navel, which is navy with some gold specks. And this one is frosted lagoon. We have chiffon mint, and you can't really see the flakes. Oh, there you go. There you kind of can in the in the light there. These are super pretty, and I was very impressed with the color, um, with the amount of glitter versus color. So it does look a, like a glitter vinyl or an ultra metallic vinyl. This one is called Golden Bell. This one is bridal pink, which is like a subtle um, pink, and it does have some gold flake in it. This one, blooming coral. There is a crystal clear, and so at the end of my project, I'm going to take the crystal clear and put it on another color. And then we have sweet almond which is kind of a golden um it kind of looks like a light gold so at the end of the video we're going to do a project it's going to be a shadow box but at the end of the video i'm going to take the crystal clear and i'm going to put it on top of the red and see if we can make our own um glitter vinyl color and that was the whole idea as to why oracle came with out with a clear because they knew they weren't going to be able to have all the colors that everyone wanted um, right off the bat. I do suspect that if this is a big hit, they will likely be coming out with new colors in the near future. But I can't say that for sure. I'm just guessing. But today we are going to do a shadow box. I did one of these a couple of years ago and I just loved doing it. It was so fun. Now my screen is flipped so you are going to see this in reverse. But this is what it is. I took the little snow that you can get in a, ba in a bag and I put it inside that shadow box. It says dashing through the snow. I bought this shadow box from Hobby Lobby. Um, the back of it says $29.99, but you could use your 40% off, or sometimes you will catch these like 50 or 60% off. I'm sure I caught this on sale because I would have never paid $30 for this. But if, um, I mean, if you use your coupon code, this would be um, a not real expensive gift or decoration that you can make for yourself. So we're going to make something similar to this, but it is going to be... Of course, with all of the 851, and it's going to be a Santa and his reindeer, a Twas the Night Before Christmas, and here is the box that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. This one is a 19 by 7. The price tag on the back is $23.99. I used um, the 40% off coupon, so however much that is. And so I think it ended up being like $15 or $18. I don't know. I'm not good at that kind of math. But we're going to take this. We're going to use um, these little snowballs. You can get these. Uh, I got these at Hobby Lobby. It says it's $1.99. I'm sure it was probably 50% off. 
It says make it Christmas um, white foam snowball pebbles. And one bag will go a really long way. I know I did not use a whole bag on the uh, shadow box that I did a couple of years ago. So let me see what kind of comments I might have and then we will get started. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, Curtis. Uh, Krista says, do you have glow in the dark? Yes, we do have um, some glow in the dark in outdoor and heat transfer. If for some reason it's showing out of stock on the site, you can call or email us and we can double check the inventory. Um, hi, Leslie. It is good to see you. Hello, Tony. Thank you. And thank you, Beth, from Delaware. So, I'm going to flip my screen or flip my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we will get started. Okay. I hope you can see because this is kind of a bigger um, project than I'm usually doing. There we go. All right, so these shadow boxes, they're very nice. Um, I'm sure you could maybe order them online or you could perhaps make your own or you could get them from a different place, maybe much cheaper, but whenever you get them, they have this foam that they're on and this one has these pins that are holding this paper in. I'm going to remove the pins and whenever I was doing this I was trying to think ahead of how I would get the vinyl on here and whenever I did the dashing through the snow I took a piece of chipboard or like the the thin cardboard chipboard that we use whenever we ship sheets of vinyl and that's what I used um, as the backing to put my vinyl on but that chipboard is like 12 by 12 and it wouldn't fit in, in my frame without piecing it together so whenever I, I was going to remove this foam but whenever you do that it's got little bumps where the foam was glued on so that wouldn't work and then I thought well I'll just cut a piece of cardboard the size of of the back here of the of the frame and just put the vinyl on that and I don't like that idea either because you're going to see the ribs and the ripples of the cardboard now this might be behind the glass and you may never see the ripples, but I don't really want to take the chance. So what I'm going to do is, I haven't tested this, so hopefully it won't be an epic failure, but I'm just going to take this vinyl with the backing on and then I'm going to apply the other vinyl to it. And then we're just going to lay it on to the cardboard we're going to put it in and then we will finish with putting the um, letters on the outside. So the way we're going to do it is this is the blue. This is called Golden Navel. I'm going to take the village scene and I'm going to put it directly on top of the Golden Navel. This color is called Sweet Almond. And then we're going to fill our, our shadow box with the snow. We're going to put this in, and then we're going to put the vinyl on top of the glass on the outside. Okay, so like I said, I have not tried this yet. Let's hope it's not a, an epic failure, but if it is, we'll just go with it. So I'm gonna, first I'm gonna take some transfer tape. You can get these on our site. This is a one inch paper. I like to keep this handy so that I can tape things down. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to apply this here. And, I'm, and I'll just be honest, it doesn't have to be perfect because when we put this in the shadow box, there's going to be snow down here. So even if it's off just a little bit, I don't think it's gonna, you're going to be able to see that. So the transfer tape that I used is our tape AT65. Whenever I cut this vinyl, I was pleasantly surprised at how well it cut. It did cut um, just like any other vinyl, like a, like a 651. The cut settings were the same. It seemed to weed just the same. Just gonna now you have you want to be very careful because you don't want to peel the base up from the backing. So I'm peeling this at like a 40, like at, I'm just laying it flat. I'm not doing it at a 45 because I don't want to lift that up. I'm just laying it flat and just peeling it slowly. beautiful this is <laughs> but the color I'm gonna kind of zoom in a little bit and let you guys see how pretty those colors are there is a little bit of a glare from the light above but I just love the color and the, the amount of sparkle in this vinyl there we go okay so we got that. Now if you had a piece of chipboard or um, something that was smooth that would fit in that frame, then you know, use it. But I just applied the sweet almond on top of the golden navel with the backing on the golden navel because we're gonna put it on, um, we're gonna put this behind it and then put it in our shadow box. So I'm gonna take my shadow box and I'm gonna put some snow in it. was I took the this first this layer of vinyl and I just basically traced it from this this uh, the backing here or the what, what do you call that the backing of the vinyl the backing of the frame I guess the frame back and then just cut it to size okay so I believe I got too much snow because you can't you can't see the village down here so I'm gonna take some of that out so I just took an old box 
and uh, that's what I was first going to do. And I was afraid that the corrugation of the box would show on the vinyl, so I scrapped that idea. And I'm still using that piece of box because I want to make sure that 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 piece of vinyl that the village is on is not going to um, collapse or or fall. I'm gonna take some of this out because I got too much. This stuff is pretty messy. I've used this snow before to fill in clear ornaments and that was fun a fun project I did that actually when my when my son was in preschool I did that for um, the kids of his class put their names on the ornaments and everything that was fun There, I think that is the right amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the not closing so I am gonna have to remove this cardboard here it collapsed my vinyl I pushed down too hard so that was not a good idea but that's okay. There we go. Much better. You'll see where the snow kind of flakes off into the glass, um, and that's fine. That kind of gives it a special effect. Now I'm going to take these letters and I'm going to apply them to the outside. The words, Twas the Night Before Christmas, is the ghostly white color. Make sure you guys can still see what I'm doing. Oh, you can't. My, my, sorry, sorry, guys. I didn't realize that had flipped. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just got a text message from my husband that says, Fix your camera. Thank you. I fixed it. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize it had flipped. I'll try to pay more attention. Okay, I just want to make sure that you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm glad I checked. So this one is going to go up in the top corner here. The transfer tape that I'm using again is the RK1865. I have not tested any other tape. This one seems to work very nicely.
Now, uh, this color is the obsidian silver, which is actually the black. And then I have these twinkles here that go separate. I'm actually going to um, cut the, I'm not going to try to apply them all at once. I'm going to cut them and then just apply them separately. I think that would be much easier. The color of these little twinkle stars is the intense silver. So we do sell this vinyl on our site in 12 and 24 inches. It's sold by the continuous foot. You enter the amount of feet you want and we send it to you in a continuous roll. The more you buy, the less it is per foot. I bought the file, these files all on the Silhouette Design Store. I've had the Reindeer and the Santa for quite a while, never used them. I bought the Village and this Twas the Night Before Christmas was actually the full Twas the Night Before Christmas went off of the house. It had the full saying um, and I, I bought that one and then I just cut off Twas the Night Before Christmas. What do you guys think? There's a terrible glare from the light. So I'm going to extend my tripod. So it's really hard to see. So I'm going to I'm going to hold that up and hopefully you guys can um tell something more about it as I'm holding it up. It's going to be backwards. But here it is. And the snow moves so you can um put more snow in one area than you having the other and I hate that there's a terrible glare from the light but I think if I try to turn the light off to show it to you um it you're it's going to be too dark in here so here's my shadow box using the newest Oracle 851 they call it 851 sparkling glitter metallic so um often known as ultra metallics or in the crafting world people call them um glitter or ultra glitters and i think that they are absolutely beautiful let's see what kind of comments i have tony said you moved the camera yes my tripod is wearing out and it flipped i need to do more crafts uh when you do crafts, share them with us it's sparkling now love this yes this is beautiful i love this vinyl and i love that oracle came out with it so if you have any questions about doing this project please let us know it is super easy i love doing these shadow boxes this is the one again i'll go ahead and show you again this is the one that i did a few years ago it says dashing through the snow 
the Christmas tree is actually in, you know, behind the glass, and then the snow is inside. Um, on this one, the village is behind the glass, and then the Twas the Night Before Christmas and the Santa in a sleigh is on top of the glass. Uh, real quick, we, um, let me think of what kind of announcements we have. We will be doing another showroom Saturday, next Saturday, November the 12th. That will run from nine to two, appointment only, and you'll get 10% off in the store. We will be announcing those closer to time. And we are um, getting caught up from being off for four days and then having our Cyber Monday sale. So just be patient with us. If you've placed an order and that has not shipped um, within a few days, reach out to us and make sure that we receive the order and everything is good. But we are getting caught up from that sale. And um, so real quick, before I get off, I want to take a piece of the clear and put it over top of the red to see if I can change the color of that. So I'm just gonna cut off a little small piece. of the clear. Let me flip my screen again so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is a piece of 751. I'm going to tape it down. Hopefully it'll tape down. I think I have a bunch of that snow on my table. There's one color that was not shipped. I guess it's not available just yet, but they have released 12 colors. I have 11 of those in stock. One of the colors is this clear, which is called Crystal Clear. And the idea behind it is that you can take any color of vinyl and make it a glitter finish. So we're gonna do that on this red. And it did work. Now, if you have a, um, you know, a laminator or, or um, you know, a sign shop that you can use your laminator, that would be the easier option. But just to put a piece of clear on top of colored vinyl to change the color vinyl to glitter, it worked pretty well. Let me make sure you can see that. Can you see the difference in that? It's quite a bit. So that is another option if you want to get the clear to change any color because uh, they only released 12 colors. And um, the colors are nice, but if you needed a red glitter, then adding the clear on top is an option. So here's the colors again. I think my favorite is probably this one, which is called uh, Bridal Pink. I don't have all of the colors memorized just yet, or the color names. This one's pretty, it's Lagoon, Frosted Lagoon. It's kind of a um, turquoise blue. This one is the Golden Navel, which is what I use for the background of my shadow box. It's a, a dark blue with kind of golden specks. This is the Obsidian Silver, which is a black. This one is uh, Intense Silver, and this is Ghostly White. So I do think that the color selection is, is good. And you can get that on our site, 12 inch and 24 inch. All right, guys, that is all that I have today. If anybody doesn't have any questions or comments, then we are going to sign off. Um, Lisa says, have you cut anything after laying, layering the clear? I have not. I just layered that today, just now. I have not cut it, but I would suspect that you would want to pay attention to your cut settings 
because you're putting two pieces of vinyl on top. I do know that the clear isn't as thick as the other colors, but it is gonna add thickness. So make sure that you increase your cut settings, do a test cut to make sure that you're cutting through um, at the right setting for your cutter. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for being patient and uh, I wasn't able to jump on yesterday, but every Thursday I schedule a, a live video to show you projects such as this. And uh, if you have questions or if you have ideas for a live, please let us know. You can leave that in the comments below or you can send us an email or a Facebook message. Thank you everybody for watching. We supply, you create.